Today it was done, we reached an agreement with Airbus. The system Tempest strides ahead in progress, with one aviation expert suggesting the program has an unassailable lead over its European rival known as FCAS or SCAF. Plans were announced at Farnborough International Air Show that Tempest is set to take to the skies within five years as a supersonic demonstrator. I am pleased with the agreement between the companies to move to a new stage of the FCAS project. This project reflects concrete steps in cooperation that we are pursuing in the EU in the sphere of defense and armaments and in which France plays a central role. The project was supposed to enter its next phase late last year but has been held up as prime contractors Dassault Aviation and Airbus Defense and Space have been unable to agree on the division of work for the next generation fighter aircraft element. On the next generation fighter, Dassault must be the uncontested leader. He added there have been some issues of interpretation between the two companies on what it means to be the prime contractor. FCAS is Europe's largest weapons project, costing an estimated $105 billion. Earlier, the FCAS program is all set to be back on track as France and Germany could set aside their differences and accelerate the sixth generation aircraft program. The next phase of the FCAS program is known as Phase 1B. A budget of about 3.8 billion euros has been sanctioned for this phase. However, negotiations between the two defense giants came to a standstill over the jet specifications and how the firms would share intellectual property, split the labor. FCAS was visualized as a next-gen fighter jet with cutting-edge communication technology that can flawlessly coordinate with drones. The aircraft is scheduled to be ready for service between 2040 and 2045. The FCAS aims to replace the French Rafale multi-role fighters, German Eurofighter Typhoons conducting air-to-air -air missions, and Spanish Typhoons doubling up as ground attack aircraft. Military and political leaders expressed concern soon with the project's conception that it may never take off due to disputes between Airbus, the project's representative of Germany, and rival Dassault. It is worth highlighting that while the NATO ally US manufactured two fifth-generation fighter jets the F-22 Raptor and the F-35 Lightning II, Europe could not go beyond its four-plus-gen aircraft, such as Eurofighter Typhoons and Rafales. Moreover, the UK, Italy, and Japan all operate American F-35 fighters, while Germany will soon receive its fleet of F-35A. This puts France and Dassault Aviation in a dilemma. Consequentially, it became a friction point between France and Germany after Berlin announced its plan to purchase the F-35, and Paris thought this would cool down efforts to work on the FCAS.